For the practical application, we will build a battery level indicator. The purpose of the circuit is to simulate a circuit which requires the minimum of 7.5 volts DC to operate correctly. If the battery drops below this threshold, the operator can see this from a warning light. When the battery is above the correct voltage, there is also an indicator to show the operator that the power is still good. So what we have in the circuit is the op-amp on the centre, but notice there is no feedback loop. The op-amp is in what is known as open loop configuration. We have a 7.5 volt power supply connected to the non-inverting input of the op-amp. This is the reference voltage. This is the minimum operating voltage point for the circuit. We also have a 9 volt power supply. This is to simulate a fresh 9 volt battery placed to power the circuit. There is an SPDT switch so we can switch between 9 and 5 volts. This is to simulate the battery power dropping below the reference voltage. It is quicker and easier to simulate the circuit power loss with this setup. The 9 volt and 5 volt power supplies connect to the non inverting input of the op amp. At the output, we have a current limiting resistor and then two LEDs one in forward bias and one in reverse bias. The top LED is green to indicate that the circuit power is OK and the lower LED is red to indicate the power is too low. Let's go to the simulator to see the working model. We have the SPDT switch set so the 9 volt battery is in use. When we play the simulation we see the green LED indicator turns on. Supply voltage is good and the external circuit will operate normally. When we throw the switch to the 5 volt supply, the red LED lights up indicating that the power supply has dropped below the required threshold to operate and needs changing. As we've seen from the tutorial videos, there are several applications that we can use the op-amp for. But if you search Google for op-amp circuits, you will find many more applications, including filters, oscillators and much more. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll explore transformers. Please feel free to ask questions and leave comments. All the best.